Okay, I got the bucket of water ready. The sponge. I just need to touch up a couple spots I didn't get. Okay. And it helps to leave a little bead at the end of the tube if there's some left and you want to save it of course and then I just smooth it out where it looks like it needs it because it's blobbed up my hand of course Sometimes it looks so good you don't really need to smooth it out. I should just it's the parts where it looks like it needs pressed in a little bit. It helps to smooth it by hand with a finger. Helps to have a clean surface also. There's that spot where the crack was on the knot. It looks a little rough right now, but once I go over it with the sponge, it'll look a lot better. It's drying pretty quick because it's already hot out today. Probably over 100 degrees right now. But if it was cooler out, it'd be a little easier to work with. And this speed, if it looks fine like this speed here, just leave it and uh, maybe go over it with the sponge a little. This looks like it's ready to use the sponge on. Once you get to the point where you think it's filling the cracks and it looks decent by smearing it by hand, then you get a sponge wet and you just wipe it along. It might take a few wipes. You don't want to over wipe it either because it'll pull the um, caulking out of the gaps just want to wipe it lightly now this roof would uh, be easier just to use paint on it than trying to nail shingles cheaper anyways also and it's less likely to leak then less less nails and stuff going through it then there's any blobs like that you could just wipe it back and forth and it'll take it off you want to wipe it before it dries of course stuff like this I just wipe it back to where it's looks better go over with the sponge some get all the blobs off and smooth them out and blobs of silicone or not silicone but dap caulking this stuff works the best
really fine tune it with the wiping it. You just don't want to wipe too much around the gap where it's caulking in it. Just want to wipe around it. It's really tricky with toilets because if it's wiped too much, it'll take the stuff right away from the gap. I guess it could be tricky with this wood roofing and stuff also. But Pretty much how to do it. Just wipe it down. Make sure you keep wringing the sponge out and clean it out. You want to do this as, it, before it dries. Otherwise, it'll be it won't work. Just wipe it with a sponge to smooth it down. On one on beads like this where it looks pretty good, you don't even have to touch it really. Just where it looks like it's kind of on the wood or whatever else uh, past where it should be, just wipe it up. It wipes real easy when it's wet. It's hot out and the sun's hitting it here, so it's wanting to dry quick, making it a little harder to work with. But. This stuff's way better than trying to do the silicone, I think. Because the silicone, once it's on and it's touched, it's a mess. Don't want to come off the skin or anything like that. This may be... May have some silicone in it. Uh, the label here. It's actually...